in this video i will show you a circuit which will have a resistor pure resistor r in series with an alternating voltage v the alternating voltage v that is applied in the circuit will be v equal to v m sin omega t here i will show you the current equation the phase relationship between the alternating voltage and alternating current how to draw the phasor diagram and i will talk about the basics of phasor diagram after that i will show you the equation of instantaneous power small p and i will show you the average power that is absorbed by the resistor here i will divide the topic into two separate parts in first part i will talk about current i and the phase relationship of the alternating voltage and in the later part i will show you and in the next part i will show you the phasor relationship and the instantaneous power and average power of this circuit the resistance inductance and capacitance are the three basic elements of any electrical network and in order to analyze any electrical circuit you must have this idea what will happen if i apply an alternating quantity in a pure resistive circuit what will happen if i apply an alternating quantity in a pure inductive circuit or a pure capacitive circuit in all these three circuits i will apply an alternating voltage v equal to v m sin omega t you must have the knowledge what will be the equation of current if i apply this kind of alternating voltage and what is the phase relationship between the alternating voltage and current and how do we draw the phasor diagram and how much power will be absorbed by the resistor inductor and capacitor that means p average this is the first video in my consecutive videos i will show you all these quantities in a pure resistor inductor and capacitor circuit in a rl series circuit r rc series circuit rlc series circuit and rlc parallel circuit okay now let me proceed with this circuit and i will find all these quantities from this circuit now consider a simple circuit consisting of now consider a simple circuit consisting of a pure resistance r ohm connected in series with this alternating voltage v the v is equal to v m sin omega t as i am applying an alternating voltage v equal to v m sin omega t that means it will be a sinusoidal voltage that means it will have an wave shape like this okay this will be our alternating voltage v see it will have total two half cycles this will be its positive half cycle and this will be its negative half cycle during positive half cycle this terminal will stay at higher potential and this terminal will stay at lower potential as a result you will see our alternating current i will flow in the clockwise direction or in this direction of the circuit okay and uh, during the negative half cycle this terminal will be at lower potential and this terminal will be at higher potential therefore you will see our alternating current will flow in counter clockwise direction in this circuit so with the alteration of the alternating voltage you will see our alternating current will flow either in clockwise or counter clockwise direction let's say the current that is flowing in the circuit is our current alternating current small i so if i apply ohm's law in the circuit you will see our alternating current i will be equal to applied voltage v divided by r we are getting this by using simple ohm's law voltage by resistor will be equal to current here our alternating voltage v equal to v m sin omega t divided by r so here i can write it like this v m divided by r sin omega t so from which i can write down the equation of alternating current i will be equal to i m sin omega t what the maximum value of current i m will be equal to v m divided by r 
in a circuit we use the resistance to control the current flow to control the current flow in a circuit we must set the value of the resistor greater than 1 as a result you will see the magnitude of alternating current i will always be less than the the magnitude of alternating current will always be less than the magnitude of the alternating voltage as a result i can say the value of i m will obviously less than the magnitude of v m so our alternating voltage will be equal to v m sin omega t as a result i will get an alternating current i equal to i m sin omega t in this pure resistive circuit now i will show you how do we calculate the phase difference between the voltage and current here v equal to v m sin omega t and current i equal to i m sin omega t to find the phase difference between the two waveforms at first i have to draw the waveforms of the voltage and current here to draw the waveforms at first i have to compare the alternating quantity with the standard equation x t equal to a m sin omega t plus initial phase phi naught here you will see the initial phase of the current phi i will be equal to zero and the initial phase of the voltage phi v will be zero that means if i take the voltage and currents in the y axis and uh, if i take the omega t in the x axis you will see the origin of the voltage and currents will be at this point as our magnitude of current maximum value of i m is equal to v m by r therefore the maximum value of the current will be smaller than the maximum value of the alternating voltage so at first let me draw the voltage and currents in the graph v equal to v m sin omega t that means if this is the origin of this voltage let's say at this 90 degree it gets its maximum value at this point okay after 90 degree that means at 180 degree it will get its zero value at 270 degree it will be at its negative maximum let's say this is its negative maximum minus vm this is its positive maximum plus v m and at 360 degree it will have its zero value okay now our alternating current i is given by i m sine omega t and we have to draw the waveform of the current i such that the magnitude of i must be smaller than the magnitude of voltage v because we divide v with r to get the alternating current let's say at as this is the origin of the alternating current at this point i get the maximum value of the alternating voltage at 90 degree okay because sine omega t gets its positive maximum value at angle of 90 degree at this point it will have its zero value at 270 degree the alternating current will have its negative maximum minus i m and at 360 degree it will have its zero value now i will draw the waveform of alternating voltage and alternating current after that i will show you the phase difference so this will be our alternating voltage v and this will be our alternating current i now look at the origin of the v and i here you will see the origin of the v and i will be at the same point therefore the phase difference between the two waveforms will be equal to zero degree that means our voltage v and current i will be in phase in phase that means their origin will be at the same point they will attain the 
positive maximum at the same instant this zero point at the same instant and the negative maximum at the same instant therefore i can say v and i will be in phase we can also calculate the phase difference by using trigonometric method here our alternating voltage v is given by vm sine omega t i can write it like this vm sine omega t plus zero degree and our alternating current is given by i m sine omega t plus zero degree therefore our phase difference phi d will be equal to the difference between phase of current and phase of voltage as both of them are at zero therefore phase difference will be at zero degree so in a pure resistive circuit our voltage v and i will be in phase that means they will start their journey from the same origin attain their maximum value at the same instant and negative maximum value at the same instant okay that's it in my second video i will show you how do we draw the phasor diagram and i will talk about everything related to phasor diagram after that i will calculate the instantaneous power from which i will deduce the equation of average power that will be absorbed by the resistor okay